Hello everyone, welcome to Cool IT Help. In this tutorial session, we are going to install Tomcat 10.0.x version on Mac OS Monterey. Let me show you uh, the version of this Mac. As you can see, I'm using Mac OS Monterey and here we are going to install the Tomcat version 10. Let's begin. So the first thing you need to check that you must have Java 8.0 or later version on your system. So just you can check with this command Java hyphen version. Okay, and this way you will see the results. In this machine, I have Java 15.0. So we are good to go. Now here are the steps that we are going to follow. In the first step, we need to download Tomcat binary package, which is 10.0.23. Uh, this time when I'm creating this tutorial session and this is the link and you just need to copy this link and uh, go to the browser and paste it on the address bar and uh, Soon you will be landed here and this is the official Apache Tomcat download page Under the section of binary distribution you can see the first heading core and here we have the second one This is the second link on which you need to click Click once and you will see the tar.gz file will be downloaded. So the file is downloaded and uh, what exactly we need to do? We need to put this file somewhere at the safest location on the system. So I'm thinking to put in user local. Now you can see at the step two, we are doing the same activity here. So first we will place our downloaded Tomcat that zip file at this location user local now I'm taking the help of a spotlight to uh, reach at that location so here we found the local folder and just opened up and here I will uh, try to paste it okay when you do it this will ask you for the uh, admin password so you can give the permission to paste it here or you can do it uh, this way like just extract the uh, folder of the Tomcat and come back here and paste it. So you do not need to do this thing because I tried to unzip and uh, we didn't get the permission of the unzip and uh, the unzip file reached, reached and landed here in the downloads folder. Now I'm uh, going to remove this zip file we don't need here. And we need the extracted zip file only. Okay, so copying done. Now you can see Apache Tomcat 10.0.23, which is the required folder. So I just pasted that here. Great. Now the next important thing we need to do, we need to create a new symbolic link, sim link. Uh, for this uh, tomcat and uh, first we will remove the previous symbolic link so Commands are very simple and straightforward. You can see this notepad the same commands are given in the descriptions for your help Now we will proceed with the first command to remove uh, any existing previous version symbolic link So trying to remove it first. Okay first command executed successfully now the time to run the second one and you can see and uh, this might be changed in your case when you see this video tutorial I'm not sure which will be the latest this may increase like you will get 0 0.24 version so please uh, do it change do the changes according to the folder name okay so in my case this is 10.0.23 uh, and this may be different in your case if you watch this tutorial one month later so make sure you are putting the right folder name in this path and also you can check this way with the help of a spotlight search that you are landing on the uh, right location or not so my path is correct we are good to go and this is the name for the symbolic link now the command is ready and uh, we are ready to run it here on the terminal press enter and uh, 
no error that means command executed successfully now we are jumping to step 3 now we need to make all the scripts which are present in the tomcat bin folder executable so we want to grant the uh, executable permissions to all those scripts otherwise in some cases uh, due to some uh, executable permission restrictions and uh, your uh, tomcat will not up and running so to avoid that uh, problems simply we going to give the executable permissions to all the scripts here we go this is the command this is executed successfully and you guys also get this command from the description box now we jumping to the step 4 it's time to start the tomcat server which is very easy we have to look for the startup.sh file which is present inside the bin folder let me show you the bin folder here we go with the cd command the path of the bin folder now we are inside the bin folder type ls and you will see all the files present here we can see we have the startup.sh as well as we have the shutdown.sh file present here so the target one is startup.sh which we will run to launch our tomcat here we go and soon you will see the message here like using this 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 and finally you will see the message tomcat is started now as per the command uh, the uh, tomcat is up and running now we need to verify once for this purpose we will follow this step 5 now at this step 5 we will open a browser and in the address bar we will put this url http localhost 8080 so i have just opened up here and going to paste that url simply press enter once you press enter within one second you will see this welcome page of the apache tomcat server if you are getting this page that means your setup is successful you can also click here so this will ask you for uh, the admin password if you will not give anything so this will throw you the unauthorized access error so you can proceed if you uh, want to do further but our target is achieved this server is up and running now we are back here in the notepad at the step 5 we found our tomcat installation is successful now one more thing i want to show you if you want to shut down this server okay the case is very simple we need to run this shutdown.sh file okay so we have the shutdown.sh at the same location so here we go with the shutdown.sh press enter and you will see the results here and this time you will not see like this is closed or something you will see uh, this kind of information on the terminal but you can verify it uh, from this browser location simply press enter and you will see the site can't be reached that means your apache tomcat is shut down now now the final step we reached step six so this is the way you can install the tomcat 10 version on your mac OS monterey i hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button subscribe my channel to learn more and for now thanks for watching cool it help